now that the puzzle's done, I wanted to record a short thing here of my thoughts on it. Um, so I really like the tin it comes in, but the puzzle itself, like, it's all right once it's together. The picture looks nice, but the pieces are very thin and they're not unique enough to make it easy to put the puzzle together. So with most really good puzzles, the pieces are unique enough that you know, even if the piece is the same color, if it belongs together or if it doesn't, where this puzzle, you don't know that. Um, you can put two completely different colored pieces together and they look like they fit perfectly. So it gets really difficult, especially in the background, telling what piece goes where. So there was a few times where I had to take a bunch of pieces out and then put them all back in to make sure that they were in the right spot, which is a little annoying. Um, but once the puzzle's put together, it looks fine. It's just a little bit thin. Like you can pick the puzzle up, but the pieces are just very thin, I think is the main issue with it. If the pieces were thicker, and a little bit more unique, this would have gone together a lot easier and a lot quicker. For reference, I usually do a thousand piece puzzles over a day, maybe a day and a half. This is a 500 piece and it took me the whole afternoon to do. So that's a lot longer than I was expecting it to take. Um, so for anybody who was thinking of ordering one of my puzzles on Redbubble, as long as you're aware that it's going to take longer than expected, especially with the ones like the nut hatch picture where the background is blurred, as long as you're aware of that, I think you'll be fine. Um, I think the smaller puzzles would be a little bit more unique cut, but the 500 and 1000 piece, I think you're starting to get into that territory of it's going to be a little bit harder to put together. In the end, I did manage to get it all put together, find where all the pieces go. Um, yeah, it's all right. Uh, I think that's all I have to say about it. Oh, one more thing. So I submitted a very high quality image to Redbubble and in their printing process, lines have been printed across it. So it's not, if you're looking at it close, it's not perfect. From far away, from a distance, it looks fine. But when you're looking at the pieces close, you can see the banding on them from the printing process. I know that's not an issue with my image because I submitted such a high quality image and I have printed out similar pictures to this at this size and bigger and have had no issues with banding. So I know it's not my fault. Um, Nah, it's still a fine puzzle. It's not the worst puzzle I've ever put together, but it's not the best quality. And I'm used to pretty good quality puzzles, so I guess there's where that comes from. Um, if you want to get one, my Redbubble link will be in the description of this video, wherever this video is put. And check them out. Um, I get a 15% cut on the puzzles, so not a huge amount, but it does, it's a, it's a decent amount. Um, yeah, I like it. I will probably in the future order more of my pictures as puzzles when I really, really like a picture. There's a couple I can think of that would make really good puzzles, and I'm just gonna have to keep in mind for uploading new images that the backgrounds are a pain to do, so maybe avoid ones that have very blurry backgrounds, but all in all, I'm happy with it. I like it. Like I said, I really like the tin it comes in, so if anything else, I now have a cool tin with one of my pictures on it. So anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, if you want to buy one of my picture, one of my pictures as a puzzle or even just a print, my red bubble is down below, but I think I'll do one of these again.